Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and uh, just I am going to uh, fix that type of error in ESP.NET Core Web API. If you are a new and the beginner, then uh, you are facing that type of problem. It's a common Microsoft ESP.NET Core.Routing.Matching ambiguous match exception that request matches multiple endpoints matches. So uh, what is the multiple endpoints? So uh, this actually um, that error is occur with the beginners. It's a common because if you are know about the routing, if you are don't know about the right routing, then I will explain you first of all what is the routing. If you are defined MVC routing or you can say attribute routing in a web API, then there is a no means and there is a no means of action name in the routing. So there is a no means action name. If you are not defining in the attribute routing of your action name, then there is a no mean of your action name in routing. Clear? So here test, post, upload image, and and etc. There is a no meaning of uh, routing in ASP.NET Core. So first of all, uh, uh, just format this document and after that I will explain you the routing. So the routing is API slash controller. So the routing is API and controller name is a category. Okay. So here we have API slash controller name that is category and slash three is the ID and the ID is here we have two that is HTTP get with the ID and similar with the uh, with the get action method you can see that id that is the id so api slash controller name slash id so here we have two endpoints in the web api code so first one is this and second one is the just under below so there is that action method and that action method wait 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 and that action method both are the same endpoints because here we have the only single ID at here. You can say that HTTP GET ID and HTTP GET ID both are the same endpoints. And here GET and the test there is a no meaning because you are not defining any uh, any action name in the routing. So here you can say that GET and the test are meaningless at here. But both our endpoints are matched. So in a web API, you got that type of error that is like ambiguity. So here we have single ID and the HTTP get here single ID. So the compiler will call ambiguous uh, matching ambiguous matching exception endpoints error. So how to fix that type of error? If you want to take test uh, action method uh, without removing, so you can use HTTP get and inside it you can take action because that uh, action that is the test action I want to call from URL that is API slash controller name that is category slash action name that is the test and slash ID that is three. So this is the routing is the different from above declaration of the get action method. Okay. So that problem will be fixed by using this. Okay, because get and the test are the same endpoints if you are taking only the single parameter that is ID. So if you want to take test in your programming, uh, then you will define separate routing in, in your code. So your problem will be fixed easily if you take this types of action in ASP.NET Core Web API. So your problem will resolve ID is three and your data uh, get easily. If you want to uh, get uh, the test result, so just you can use API slash controller name slash action name that is test and slash ID. So you got the same type of output because your ID is the three. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all of the videos which is related to ASP.NET Core Web API. Thank you. Thank you very much.